Hi everyone, it's Taylor here. Today I'll be sharing how I created this cute set of spring and Easter cards, along with tips and tricks for mass producing. It all starts with the wreath layering stencil. It has two different layers that feature the leaves on one layer and the flowers on the second layer. And when layered together, it creates the beautiful wreath. It can be cut out with the coordinating dies, so you can see here the spring wreath die set that has additional elements like birds and bunnies and flowers that you can add to the wreath if you wish. All of the sentiments, the four larger sentiments in the Be Joyful set fit inside the center of the wreath, and I'll be using two backgrounds, playful plaid and wood plank. For my blending on the leaves, I have mint julep and pea pod. Then I have fruit punch, pineapple, and also pink champagne for the flowers. I'll be using sugar cube on the backgrounds, Oreo for the sentiments, and toffee for some blending around the outside of one of the projects. I need my blender brushes and my purple tape along with my drip drops embellishments and some cute little pom-pom bunny tails. So let's get started. We'll start with the two stencils in the layering wreath set. You can see they have the alignment squares in the top and bottom corners. They are A2 size stencils, so they measure four and a quarter by five and a half, and they fit perfectly over that size card panel. I have hinged at the top with my purple tape to allow me to easily switch out the paper as I'm going to be mass producing these. So that's one of my first tips is to use that purple tape as a hinge that allows you to easily switch out your paper as you're going. Now here I'm using a little bit of post-it removable tape in order to mask off certain areas as I want my flowers to be different colors. So as I move that around, I can just make sure I'm only getting red in the areas that I want the red and then the pineapple ink on the other flowers and then the pink champagne in between. And there's really only a couple spots that you need to block off with each layer. You can see how pretty that wreath turned out with all of those different colors. And again, easy to mass produce by placing the paper right underneath your hinged stencil. Now, another tip for mass producing is to create a negative die cut template, especially with these intricate wreath dies where it's often hard to determine exactly where to die cut it perfectly. So I've created a template, which I'm then lining up each of my stenciled pieces within that template opening and adhering the die over and sending it through the machine. Now I'm going to stamp some backgrounds. I decided on toffee card bases, and so I have sugar cube ink and the wood plank background set up in the misty. And you can see how cute that looks when stamped. It gives it a nice rustic look. I did two of them with the wood plank, and now I'm going to do two of them with the playful plaid for a little bit different kind of spring cutesy feel to the background. So you can see how those turned out, and that's what I'll be mounting my wreaths onto. So the next step is to figure out how to place the sentiment in the center of the wreath. I have not adhered the wreath yet, but I'm using it as a placeholder just to make sure that I'm stamping that sentiment right where I want it. I'm going to do that with all four sentiments. I used each sentiment one time and decided the more springy ones for the cutesy background and then the prettier Easter ones for the more wood plank style background. I want to add a cute pink bunny to each of the wreaths, so I'm cutting those out with my sidekick machine, and now it's time to do the assembly. I'm cutting my foam squares into thin strips so that I can pop up the wreaths around the top of my stamped sentiments. Once I do that on each of the cards, I'm going to adhere the small pink bunny that I cut out of pink champagne cardstock. Depending on where the sentiment falls, I adhered those in a little bit different spot on each of the wreaths. And then I have my little pom-poms that I'm going to place down on each of the bunny butts to add a little bit of texture and dimension to the cards. Now to finish off the card fronts, I'm going to add my favorite embellishment, which is our bits and pieces drip drops to a few of the flower centers on each of the wreaths. I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi liquid glue to place a drop of glue in each spot where I want to put a drip drop and then pick up the drip drops with my Embelly Jelly pick and place tool and place them easily down onto all of those glue drops. Now I did decide at the last minute that I wanted to add some 
kind of distressed edging to the wood textured panels. I thought it made it look a little bit more realistic. I probably would have done this earlier had I thought of it, but it fit in just fine at the end as well. I'm placing each of these on a sugar cube card base, which I have folded, and now I'm using my scotch tape roller to just adhere each of those down to the card base. I made four Easter cards in no time, and I think they turned out so pretty. You can find all of the products that I used at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.